Welcome back to another Gwent mechanic preview video. This time we'll be taking a look at Promote. Promote is a mechanic that did not exist in The Witcher's Gwent, making it new for all players. Before we get into the specifics of Promote, let us understand the types of cards that exist in Gwent. In Gwent, there are three general types of cards, bronze, silver, and gold. While it would be reasonable to assume that these ranks pertain mostly to rarity, there certainly is more to it than that. Bronze cards can be equated to commons. They are not limited, and you can play up to three of any individual bronze card in your deck. A bronze card is usually a non-named troop, i.e. Blue Stripes Commando. Silver cards can be understood as rare. They are limited in two ways. There is a cap of silver cards your deck can have, which right now is six, but is certainly subject to change. Then, each individual silver card is unique. These are named cards, i.e. Dandelion. Then, there is our focal point for today's discussion, the gold card. Gold cards are similar to silver cards in that they are limited. More strictly though, right now the cap is 4, which again is subject to change. They are also unique named cards, but on top of all of this, their type has an innate ability which makes them untargetable. Nothing can target them except for a handful of specific gold targeting abilities such as Dijkstra's Global Gold Removal. So what does this mean? It means that once a card is gold, whether it is naturally gold or turned gold, it cannot be targeted by the vast majority of spells and abilities in the card game. This includes friendly buffs that you may look to apply to your units. Friendly or not, it doesn't matter. In the immortal words of MC Hammer, You can't touch this. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. That takes us to Promote, which is a card and an ability found on many cards as well. The Promote card itself turns a non-gold into gold, locking them at whatever stats they have at the moment you promote them. So if my Dun Banner Light Cavalry is at its natural 7 strength when I promote it, it will stay at 7 strength. If instead my Dun Banner Light Cavalry is at 14 strength from various buffs and then I promote it, it will lock in at 14 strength. If my Dumb Banner Light Cavalry is under the effect of weather or other debuffs and I promote it, it will lock in at its debuff strength. Thus, we can conclude that while gold cards are largely untargetable, the effect of turning gold does not act as a purging effect. The unit will be goldified in whatever state it currently exists in on the battlefield. What does this all mean? Well, like every ability, there are positive and negative aspects. The attribute of being virtually untouchable will render control decks ineffective and provide lasting power on the board, which can power you forward to victory. However, turning units gold can also limit the amount of power you can achieve on the board via buffs and the like. Promote will be a tricky mechanic to master. I believe that much of its value will be derived from the user's ability to effectively execute their own bluff plays and call out opponent's bluffs. That is all for today. Thanks for watching. I'm HG3 from Gwent City and I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe and let us know what you think about Promote in the comments. See you next time.